In this video, I want to talk about cutting curbs off of these 90 foot long rail cars. The, uh, the most important thing before you start is to know what you're cutting off. Um, are you cutting one curb off of one rail car or are you cutting two curbs off a rail car? Uh, first, let's talk about what a curb is. It's, it's this uh, side sail, right? This is a C-channel side sail, uh, runs entire length, sticks up about eight inches off the deck. Uh, so that's, we call that a curb. C U R B curb. Uh, so we got this curb over here. So we want to cut that curb off. Sometimes we want to cut one curb off. Sometimes we want to cut both curbs off. Uh, as far as which curb, if we wanted to cut one curb off of this rail car, it really doesn't matter if you cut this one off or that one off. It, 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 uh, either either one's fine. Just pick one and uh, uh, and uh, and cut it off. Usually, if we're if we're cutting one curb off of a, off of a rail car, we'll pick the curb that is. Uh, maybe a little bit tweaked or a little bit damaged and we'll cut that one off and we'll leave the good one in place okay so make sure that you're you know if you're cutting one curb off of one rail car or both curbs off of one rail car uh, why would we want one versus two well it depend it really depends on how we're going to apply this as a bridge uh, if we look over here we have these these two rail cars here you know one rail car here one rail car over there with the curb on the inside cut so these two rail cars are going to be put side by side and will become one bridge one uh, one bridge that consists of two rail cars sometimes we'll use we'll have a bridge that's actually three rail cars you know it'll be, it'll be one here one here and one over here so it'll be three rail cars side by side uh so we'll want to cut both curbs off the middle rail car and, uh, and only one curb off this rail car and one curb off that rail car. Um, so it really depends on the application, but three rail cars wide is, isn't as common. Most bridges that we do at least are two rail cars wide. So we'll cut the inside curb off. Uh, I know we can use other types of rail cars. We do have some flush decks, but uh, we, we, we like these uh, race side sails too. So, um, so let's get back into uh, how to cut the curb off. So make sure you know if you're cutting one curb off of one rail car or two curbs off of one rail car. Um, most of the time, 90% of the time, it's gonna be one one curb off of one rail car, meaning that this curb will be cut off all the way down, this curb is gonna stay in place. Okay, so how we do it is we wanna get right to this weld bead right here, and we'll stick our torch. Let me talk about torches real quick. This is the, this is the torch that we use right uh but it really uh, it, it doesn't really matter what kind of torch it is this is just a, a long handled torch okay so so what we do is we take our torch head and we have to set it on the deck we, we do not want to do it this way we, we run the risk of, of damaging the deck so we'll take our torch and we'll put the tip right above that weld bead right there okay and then we'll just drag our torch all the way down just like that okay so that that weld bead is maybe uh, 3 eighths of an inch or so uh, so we want to keep that all the way down okay all the way down to the other side all right now some guys will actually about every 10 feet that they'll they'll take this curb from right here and they'll cut up and over that way it's more manageable pieces uh, uh, some guys will, will cut it all, you know, 90 feet in one, in one piece. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but this, this will want to, as you're cutting, this will want to roll over this whole side sail here. If you, if you do a good job cutting it, uh, you know, you come around here and you cut this and you, and you start cutting all the way down. As you get probably a good 15 feet, you'll start noticing that here, uh, this thing will start wanting to separate. You'll have a nice big gap there, so which makes it nice. You know you're cutting all the way through, okay? So this is one that we've uh, we've cut. See, the, the torch was placed here, and we just drug it all the way down. You can actually see that uh, the top of the weld bead was actually cut a little bit here, okay? So this is, um, this is even better, where we kept that about, heck, that's about a quarter inch above that, so that there's a... Uh, there's only a quarter inch height there, right? So that that's that's really good. Um, that preferably that that's the way we want it right there. And so we just cut all the way down. So now whenever we're done cutting, uh, it's left with this slag, right? So you do have you just have these boogers on here, 
and what we're primarily looking for is just any big sharp edges so this like we want to be able to drive over this as soon as it's set down so some of these edges just run your finger along there you can tell this is kind of just sharp so just uh you know it doesn't take long to take an, a big nine inch grinder and just hit these uh well, like right here you got this little booger right here so that, that that'll cause a uh, a puncture in a tire a little booger there right so all, that's all we're really looking for um, this car over here has been ground down already and this so this took um, maybe an hour of work just to take this and just grind it down a little bit okay at uh, Makes it a lot, makes it look a lot smoother. You can see that. Uh, well, actually, this one maybe even worked on a little bit longer, because uh, boy, we're we're nice and tight there. Look at that. Hardly any space there. Um, so this is this is you know really good work here. We're 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 almost flush. That's phenomenal work there. Um, so that but that's probably a little bit more labor intensive than than uh, than what we want to pay for. This is obviously ideal. Uh, well, not ideal. That's that's way better than ideal. This is what we're Satisfied with right so we're satisfied if it looks like this so, you know, we're maybe quarter inch above right over here Okay, so that looks nice and nice and clean all the way down. I'll kind of run Run down that you can see that it's uh, you know, we do have a little bit boogers here but with the grinder we're not looking to uh, like all this right here all we're looking is cut you know with the grinder is just to knock off these boogers uh, and that'll just once you once you take a nine inch grinder and you just zip it right down you may have to so you, you just take a grinder come over this one time then you come back on the sides and you just grind down the sides all you're doing is knocking down these boogers you're not really trying to grind anything down you're just knocking off boogers i'm gonna take a walk around this and see if uh if i see anything that um we're talking about oh yeah look at that so this has been this has been ground down a little bit let me back up a little bit here so you can see where we stopped okay so it looks like they were grinding over here all oh, this looks ground down actually that, that looks really good looks like they stopped right here so this one's been this has been the tops of this has been ground down and they stopped right about here okay so you can see this is where they ground it down and then they stopped right here okay and um and these boogers here i'll oh, see that this is why we want it ground down it's a little little sharp edges and all of a sudden you're, you're bleeding all over the place okay so we don't we don't want that um uh so uh let's see where they right here so from right here over they've they've hit the sides with the grinder already okay all right let's uh so this side over here looks fantastic So if we can get uh, about an hour's worth of grinding, that'd be ideal. That's assuming that uh, that the torch hand um, didn't leave a whole bunch of boogers and made a nice clean cut. Oftentimes, uh, the biggest problem we see is uh, if if the torching guy isn't blowing all the way through, um, then then it'll get all boogered up right over here. You know, it'll just it won't cut clean through, and then. That requires a lot of grinding time so keep your oxygen pressure up high and blow all that crap clean free free and clear and, and, uh, and that'll make it easy to uh to, to cut these side sills off okay so i guess the point of the story is we don't want our clients getting cut on these rail cars so we need all these boogers cleaned up that's it